And we're gonna do something really simple today. I got some chicken quarters on sale, 99 cents a pound. Dinner doesn't get much cheaper than that. We'll make a mango barbecue sauce to go on this chicken. And you can use the same sauce on pork chops, pork loin. You can even use it on wings. Add in a little bit more spice than I'm going to have. It's a great barbecue sauce. This is gonna be a fun cook. Stay with me. Got five chicken quarters. Gonna put a duck fat binder on them. Duck fat is better than olive oil when you want to try to get crispy skin. If you don't have duck fat, you can use olive oil. Like I say, the advantage of duck fat is getting the crispy skin. So we just want to spray both sides. Now for my seasoning today, use your favorite seasoning. I'm going to use this Running Wild Poultry. The star of the show today is going to be this uh, mango barbecue sauce that we'll make. This is a great all-purpose chicken seasoning. If you want to know more about it, I'll put a link in the video. And all we want to do is season up both sides, and then we'll get ready for this hay smoke. We're going to put this hay smoke on 225. Get our chicken on here. This lower temp will allow us to get some smoke on the chicken. You can see with this little portable A smoke, we can get just about five quarters on here. Let's get the lid down and let it smoke. To make this mango barbecue sauce, I've got two mangoes kind of chopped up. You can see a lighter color or the darker color. The reason this one's lighter is because it wasn't as ripe. You want as ripe as you can get, but this is all they had at the grocery. I got some tomato paste. This is about three ounces. What I've got here, three tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, or however you say that. We've got some minced garlic. I'll put all the amounts in the description box. Got three tablespoons olive oil. Got some apple cider vinegar. What we've got here, one half a cup. This is local honey. You don't need any particular kind of honey. Use what you can get your hands on. I've got three quarters of a cup of chopped onion and freshly chopped up ginger. I hope you can see that the ginger was on top. Now I've got some dried ingredients. We've got chipotle powder, we got cayenne, kosher salt, black pepper. Now, I just want to get this all mixed in real well. You want to bring it to a simmer and let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes, just so all these flavors marry in together. Don't worry that it's so chunky because when we're done simmering it, we're going to run it through a food processor to get a little bit more consistency, you know, uh, a consistent consistency to it. I almost forgot. I've got an optional ingredient for you. Personally, I wouldn't make an optional, but I know some of you don't like alcohol. That's one third cup of rum. Mango and rum, pineapple and rum. Flavors go awesome together. So our sauce is simmered about 10 minutes. You can see it's still pretty darn hot from the steam there. You can also see I made a mess. All right, let's try this out. When it comes to food processors, it's not my area of expertise. Let me turn it around where it might be easier to see. Hope that's easier to see anyway. Okay, I don't know, that was about two, three minutes. Still pretty darn hot. Just want to look at the texture here. You can see it's uh, blended in pretty well now. 
You can blend it more if you want. I'm done blending it. It's been an hour and 45 minutes. This chicken's at 145. Some of them are up to 148. We want to take it up to 165 or 170. You can actually take the dark meat all the way up to 175 if you want. Just want to glaze each one of these bad boys. Now I'm probably only going to do the tops, you know, the back side, just essentially the bone. You could time it to do the back, but I just never find much difference in the flavor. And by the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, I'm using bourbon barrel pellets today. I love these things. Now you can also use apple or cherry. Both of those would be good choices. I'm just going to uh, glaze up each chicken quarter. We'll get the lid down. Keep cooking, like I say, till it gets to 160, 165. Now that this sauce is on, I'm going to turn this up to 350 for the remainder of the cook. We are right at the two hour and 15 minute mark and that's total time. This chicken is temping at 167 to 168. As I mentioned earlier, for dark meat, you can bring the temp up between 165 and 175. You can see this one in the back corner is about 157. It'll creep on up some more. Let's get this chicken off here. So with these guys are resting, we're just going to put a little chopped parsley. And it looks like it's almost dark, doesn't it? It's only like 5 o'clock. Another rainy day here in Florida. And we'll just let these bad boys sit here 10 minutes, 15. Cool down. Let that juice get all up inside. You don't want to cut it right away. The juice will run out. The chicken's been resting here. That's just, uh, in fact, let me just take this leg and... There's her leg there. Can you see that? Let's give this leg a try. Hope you can see that. Still a little bit hot. I should be using a fork, I guess. There's just moisture all over the outside of that chicken. Now, the skin's not crispy. And, um, I think I, if you wanted it crispy, we would have had to turn it up earlier and turn a little hotter. Skin's full of flavor. You get a sweetness from the mango. I get a little bit of that ginger. You get, uh, or, you know, I said sweetness from the mango. Look at, look at that. Just look at the juice in that chicken. Sweet from the mango and the honey. There's a piece of that thigh. Some of the most tender chicken I've ever made. It's not spicy. I get a very, very little spice in the end. You could make this same sauce for wings and add in some habanero, add in some ghost if you wanted to spice up those wings. Absolutely full of flavor. Thanks so much for watching.